morning. I'll try to be brief and serve in three Ps. Be brief, be beneficial, and be gone. <laughs> As the mayor mentioned, I'm Council Member Michael Gregory, and I'm pleased to represent District 1, which includes downtown San Francisco. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak about my district and share my passion with downtown San Leandro. Today I'm going to focus on the catalyst for many positive things you'll hear about over the next hour and a half, which is Transit Oriented Development Strategy, or TOD Strategy, and how the policies and ideas contained in this comprehensive strategy have and will continue to change downtown San Leandro for the better. First, let me tell you a little about TOD strategy. The document was adopted in 2007 by the city of San Leandro after nearly two years of community input and a tremendous amount of work by talented city staff, consultants, city officials, and most importantly, the Citizens Advisory Committee. At one point, I think it was 27, and I think it finished up with a strong 24. This hard work and dedication did not go unnoticed as the document has received multiple local and state awards, including a comprehensive planning award for a small jurisdiction from the Northern California chapter of the American Planning Association. The, the Growing Smarter Together on the Ground, Getting It Done, Focus Grow Award from the Association of Bay Area Governments, and honorable mention for Smart Growth from Breathe California. <coughs> But most importantly, the adoption of the TOD strategy positioned San Leandro to win over $25 million in grant funds to date, including one that's dear to my heart, the Safe Bridge Transit Grant, which accentuates my personal commitment to increasing our active transportation. Being at the forefront of this movement, we will likely receive additional state and federal grants in the future. So just imagine the Department of Transportation, HUD, talking to each other, first time probably ever. And the, and the money will flow from it. The TOD strategy, along with associated grant funding, sets the stage for a massive amount of positive change in our downtown, including promoting active transportation, meaning walking, biking, and using mass transit. Active transportation is one of the key elements to help address climate change by reducing vehicle miles traveled while promoting a healthy lifestyle. <coughs> Revitalizing the downtown, however, takes more than an award-winning strategy and grant funding. We need buy-in and action from the developer community. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know where our TOD is, it's headquartered here at the, at the intersection of Davis and East 14th, and it's a half mile circumference. It goes up to Bancroft Avenue, actually. But it's essentially a circle. And with, within that circle is how we have uh, defined our, our land use. So as you can clearly see on our downtown investment map, not so clearly, but very clearly on the back of your agenda, you'll also find uh, we have a tremendous amount of development activity coming down the pipe. New high density housing and mixed use development to class A office space and capital improvement projects. San Leander is defying the recession and redefining our downtown. <coughs> Just last week, 400 new employees moved into Creekside Office Plaza and joined our downtown. And finally, I want to encourage all of you to mark your calendars for our first annual Bike San Leandro event on Sunday, May 2nd. This event, which begins and ends in the heart of our downtown, is being organized by the Downtown Association and encourages San Leandrians to get out and enjoy downtown San Leandro from the best vantage point possible, the saddle of a bicycle. For mountain bikers, a vigorous 13-mile ride of the Lake Chabot bicycle loop is being offered. For those looking for a less strenuous ride, enjoy a leisurely family five-mile ride to the Dunsmore House. When you return, the barbecue will be fired up and live music playing starting at noon on Parrot Street. So thank you again for being here, and now I'll turn the show over to Luke Sims and our Community Development Director for the City of San Leandro will start our panelist discussions. 